And last week, we conducted an eight-hour interview with President Trump's White House counsel, Pat Cipollone. You'll see a number of excerpts of that interview today and even more in our next hearing. Mr. Cipollone told us that he agreed with the testimony that there was no evidence of fraud sufficient to overturn the election. I want to start by asking if you agree, Mr. Cipollone, with the conclusions of Matt Morgan, of Bill Barr, of all of the individuals who evaluate those claims that there is no evidence of election fraud sufficient to undermine the outcome in a particular state. Yes, I agree with that. And Mr. Cipollone also specifically testified that he believed that Donald Trump should have conceded the election. Did you believe, and Mr. Cipollone, that the president should concede once you made the determination based on the investigations that you credited, the OJ did, and the campaign did, did you in your mind form a belief that the president should concede the election loss uh, at a certain point after the election? Well, again, uh, I was the White House counsel. Some of those decisions are political. So to the extent that, but, but if your question is that I believe he should concede the election at a point in time, yes, I did. I, I believe um, Leader McConnell went onto the floor of the Senate, I believe in mid-December, and basically said, you know, the process is done. You know, that, that would be in line with my thinking on these things. As Attorney General Bill Barr testified, December 14th should have been the end of the matter. December 14th was the day that the state certified their votes and sent them to Congress. And in my view, that was the end of the matter. Uh, I didn't see, uh, you know, I, I thought that uh, this would lead inexorably to a new administration. Mr. Cipollone also testified that the president's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, said he shared this view. As early as that November 23rd meeting, we understand that there was discussion about the president possibly conceding the election. And, and specifically, uh, we understand that, that Mark Meadows assured both you and Attorney General Barr that the president would eventually agree to a graceful exit. Do you remember Mr. Meadows? making any such representation. Are you saying as part of that meeting or separately? Again, without, without getting into that meeting, I would say that that is a, that is a statement and a sentiment that I heard from Mark Meadows. I see. And, and again, do you know if it was on November 23rd or some point? Again, I, I, it was probably you know around that time, yeah. and it was probably subsequent to that time. It wasn't a one-time statement. Mr. Meadows has refused to testify and the committee is in litigation with him.